We're going to show you how to correct a wiring routing issue on the new 2011 ponies. This is in regard to a technical bulletin released by Trike Tech. You can see in this diagram, this is the way it comes from the factory. And so the cable is actually routed wrong. It's routed up and in front of the mounting system for the bottom of the fairing. And if we look at the bottom picture, which is the correct way, it should be going in and behind the fairing, like you see right here. And what we're gonna do is demonstrate how to correct that issue. It's imperative that you fix this problem. Otherwise, you're liable to damage your wire. And if your wire gets pinched and damaged, then you basically have to rebuild the motor or probably buy a brand new motor. It's as simple as that. So it's very important that you correct this issue. First thing we need to do is remove the fairing and there are four bolts. There's one on the left side here, one on the right side, and then there are two bolts towards the top. Okay, on the fairing bolts, there's a washer, kind of a spacer also. Uh, you can see there's a smaller diameter lip in here that goes in towards the fairing. We'll go ahead and take the other bolts off. So we've got all the bolts off the fairing. Now it should just pull forward. That's simple and easy. Set the fairing to the side. Now here's the tech bulletin that you'll see on the trike. You want to come around here, Eddie. You can see how this cable is routed in front this way. Well, right here is your steering limiter. And there's been an instance where this cable will get pinched between the this silver collar and that limiter. And if that happens, you damage the cable, that cable's hardwired into the motor, uh, then you've either, like I said, you've got to have the motor rebuilt uh, or simply buy a whole new motor. So what we're going to do... We're going to cut the tie wrap. And then we're going to reroute it like this. Okay, now we're going to re tie wrap the motor cable to the extension arm. This is real important the direction you go with the tie wrap. Now, for one, we have the cable in behind the fairing mount, and you want to take your tie wrap in this direction. And the reason being is when we tighten it up, it's going to allow it to flow this direction. If you come in the other way, it'll cause it to go that direction, and you got to force the wire to come back the other way. So put your tie wrap in the way you see me feeding it through. I'll do it again. We're going in like this. <clears throat> and we're simply just going to pull it up at that point. And so you can see how we have a flow like that, okay, and not, if it was the other way, then we would have a, a sharper bend in the wire. So let's go ahead and get the tie wrap pulled up, make sure our cable's in the right position. You want to make sure that you've got enough slack so you can rotate the motor around. You can see we're clearing the wire now. Bring it back up. And then now we're just going to cut off our excess tie wrap. All right, now we're going to put the fairing back on. It's real simple to do. Uh, here's your mounting supports on the frame. It's going to be down on the bottom, left and right, right below your main axle set. And then the top two mounts 
at the top of your front structure. So what we're going to do is get the fairing up and on. You kind of eyeball in here and see that your point where the screw is going to go in is lined up with the um, mount on the frame. Just let it relax there. Get your five millimeter wrench, Allen wrench. Now be careful starting these threads. Make sure you don't cross thread it. They should start really so. Took a little maneuvering around, but these threads go in real easy. Don't tighten it down all the way. Give yourself a little looseness on the fairing to get the other screws in. Remember the flat washer? This left's going in against the fairing. Said, be careful not to cross thread. So we'll leave that a little loose. Now we're going to go to the top. Make sure everything's in place. a little loose when we get the other screws in. Okay. Everything seems good, so we're going to go ahead and tighten it. Doesn't take a lot, just torque it down. Snug it, don't over tighten it. Snug it up, all it's got to be. There you go, your fairing back in place. Come around here, Eddie. You can now see our cable is routed back this direction and flowing up, rather than the, this direction. And that's all there is to it, real simple thing to do. There's tools that come with your pony. You should have a five millimeter wrench with your tool set, and that's all, all the only thing required other than having an additional tie strap.